Hi everyone, my name is Damien Levy and uh, today I will show you my swing trading analysis, day trading as well, for the week to come. So let's start with odd USD. So odd USD, the trend is down. You can see this low reference point of the uptrend has been taken out. So we want to sell and then there was a level in the middle was winning last week. So now we are checking the next level, which will be around this round number right here. So to define the level, I use weekly level of support and resistance and they are shown to me in a non-discretionary way using what is called the level sensor or volume at price. So basically this is the zone where I want to sell here based on this indicator but it is not really an indicator it's just a way to show where are the real support and resistance based on how many times the price spend at a specific uh, specific price level basically additional to that i look at supply and demand and you can see this supply zone right here has been untouched so this would be a this would be a perfect zone for a sell now last week the 4 hour trend from this low to this new high has been taken out so the price might just retrace a little bit and then fall further down. And if it does I have a level for a buy around this zone near the big round number here. Odcad so a little bit the same except that Odcad is in an uptrend it's a clean uptrend. So it rejected the bottom of the uptrend which is right here. So I would expect eventually a second touch of this zone and then flying up. Last week was quite strong going down. So I still want to sell. I have some level to sell right here based on this spike right here, this spike and this line chart level of resistance here. For the entry, I use a change in trend from the 15 minute chart uh, during the beginning of London or sometimes Asia as well. I live in the Philippines, so I can take Asian trade as well. And a change in trend on the 15 minute chart, usually during those opening time, are quite safe and protected. The win rate is around 40%, so you will lose one trade out of two. But when you win, you make five reward, which represent, well, if you place 1% at risk, it represents 5% profit. So even if you lose half of your trade, when you win, you win five times what you put at risk, you're still fine. You're still pretty awesome, actually. Let's see, HF. Clean downtrend, a huge impressive move going down. Now it's rejecting this zone and this round number right here. So it might continue from this zone. That's why I left this level for this week. This was a trade from last week, a winning trade. And I would expect eventually a continuation or if it would break this one then I have this zone right here which is a daily supply zone plus a weekly strong level of support and resistance. Odd New Zealand was well, same and they are correlated you know so this nice zone of supply right here correlated of course with the volume at price and a lot of weekly resistance there and as well for a buy I have this zone right here correlated with this spike and multiple support here on the weekly chart. So this would be a nice way to buy here. A lot of liquidity created right now. See, there is one bottom, second bottom, third bottom. So a lot of stop losses are below. So I would expect a break below and then a, a nice rise up from there. And we have the same congestion here, which means a lot of stop losses are above this zone. That's why this level can work nicely as well. So the strategy is using the smart money concept and uh, support and resistance, the strongest one in the market, using volume at price non-discretionary approach. And this is taught in my one year complete mentorship. And uh, you will see how it works on a weekly basis because I will do the weekly analysis every week now. Odd GPY, so clean downtrend as well. The monthly is in an uptrend and there is this huge zone of resistance right here that might transform into a support. There is a 200 EMA on the weekly, the so 800, so which is the 200 on the monthly, just below. So this zone for a buy is huge. Price 
touch my zone with this round number on Friday so I didn't take trade I will wait two days to see if there is a nice retouch and a nice pattern in this zone for a buy and for a sell I want to continue the forward trend which is a short term weekly downtrend as well Euro odd Euro odd and GP odd are at a level so as you can see on Euro odd we have this huge zone of strong rejection every time price go there and it rejected one time we took profit already on this one and now it's come back quite violently to it so there is a little chance that it will reject still this zone again and if not there is a level just above and now you can see that with the volume at price it's pretty obvious so there is a huge zone where the price is right now a huge valley and then there is a, a nice spike in volume here which means a lot of liquidity was spent there in the past so there might be some liquidity remaining there for a sell GBP odd same so the weekly trend is up so we are counter trend right now but there is this huge level of resistance huge 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 right there so if I have a nice pattern during London Open this afternoon I might take a sell here and if I want to buy I have this nice stone for a buy right here resistance and huge rejection all the time line chart and then support again so those are the two level on the four hour you can see it better what I could say as well is the price is kind of a week going up so I would really expect a sell-off there uh, with a nice profit there and this might be wiped out and it might go all the way to this round number and so this zone this nice support zone right here CAD yen touch the level of support it's a nice huge zone on the monthly and on the weekly as well a huge line chart if I switch to the line chart you can see right there there is one rejection, two rejection, three, four. So this is not a little zone, it's a big zone on the monthly and on the weekly it appears very nicely on the volume at price. So yeah, huge zone. And it touched on Friday, so let's see what will happen today. This is CAD yen, so maybe during New York time it might go back there and we will see if we have an opportunity to enter. This is Monday, so on Monday take it easy don't take too much trade CAD CHF so nice weekly downtrend here it rejected the first level but there is a nice level of resistance right here a bit above and I would expect this one to be touch actually so I would want to sell around the 200 EMA on the 4 hour right there CHF yen so this was a trade from last week it rejected this zone very nicely but didn't give me an opportunity to enter after this high was spiked a little bit here and now we can see a huge rejection from there so the price might continue to go up eventually up to this nice weekly resistance and if not to the second one round number right there on the weekly we have a nice beautiful bearish angle thing right there so we might follow this angle thing for a while and there is this round number right there which seems to be a nice one so it might continue to go down a little bit but it will be enough to get a trade on the day on the 15 minute chart a day trade gold gave us a trade last friday so this one would have been a, a win already but it happened on friday so not really a good to take uh, the reference point of this 4 hour uptrend is from here all the way to there so I would expect eventually this low to be taken out with this double bottom a lot of liquidity below it and from there go all the way up and I'll switch to the weekly chart and you can see this level is a huge zone of support on the on the line chart weekly and then here as well spikes so this is a, a good area and there is a 10 EMA in this zone right there on the weekly chart as well so I want to buy there for sure this will be the best opportunity the sell might be gone so sell 
cautious if you want to take it silver i placed an entry this morning um it's counter trend but the level is huge why do i say that because there is like uh, on the daily chart you have like 10 rejection as a support and uh, as a resistance you have one huge rejection right here plus a line chart rejection here so this zone makes sense the daily is in a downtrend as you can see this low has been taken out right there so the we the daily is in downtrend weekly as well um yeah and this is the the zone that impulsed this big move down so this makes sense if we are lucky and it retraced to the entry which is a 15 minute chart where we are right now the candle who made the high right here is the entry entry below including the spread for sure and then stop loss above five reward on this trade that's the only trade of this morning euro usd a huge drop this was a winning trade from last week and the weekly is a bit uh, is still in an uptrend so even if we have a spike from this zone i would expect the price to continue to go up and take the liquidity of this spike touch the 200 EMA on the weekly and then fall from there because the monthly is a clean downtrend so that's what i would expect but not too much level near so quite far we'll see that next week probably euro chf okay so euro chf uh, still in a downtrend short term and it worked exactly at the level right there round number touch and then flip down i had this huge rejection from the round number below right there and inside this candle there is a huge valley on the volume at price right here so i would expect the price to give me a nice trade here for a buy and it might not be a big trade but it might give me the five reward that i need and after it might fall further because the overall trend is still down the monthly is pretty nicely down to show you just the volume at price the way it is it's pretty really beautiful there is a huge valley here so every time price go there there is huge chances of reversal there here we go so that's the two level and i place the level on top for sell because this is an untouched zone of supply really really untouched and the movement going down is, is pretty clean on the forward chart so there is if it was to break this take the liquidity then I would still expect to sell just above for a bigger drop. Eurocad, so we have a nice weekly zone of resistance, same volume at price and multiple rejection here, and there is even a, a bigger zone above that. So I would wait and see. Last week made a nice rejection out of it, but well, there is eventually a level right here. Let me check. There is eventually a level for a buy around these two spikes. So the trend is cleanly up, so yeah, I will I will try to check this level right here. This makes sense for a buy. Because it's a nice weekly uh, support and the trend from here to here is pretty pretty huge. So and price is retracing in a week fashion so if it would go there then yeah good chance for a buy euro yen so there is this huge supply zone right here untouched this would make sense for sure and then on the weekly we are in an uptrend still everything is spiked so since we are still in an uptrend on the weekly i would expect even this slow to react a bit more and um, yeah, that's pretty the two zones that are interesting this week on this chart. Euro New Zealand. So there was a nice, beautiful, impulsive move. You see a beautiful bullish candle right here. So in the middle of this zone, there is a nice valley on the volume at price. And that's where I have my entry, my level of interest, basically. Price is going down in a weak fashion, same. So if it touch one of those level, maybe actually around this one, 
all the way here. This is the zone with the 200 EMA on the 4 hours that would make the most sense. And uh, a nice reversal here for sure will give me 5 reward. I'm good probability here. GBP USD, so a very strong, this one is beautiful as well. There is a very strong bearish angle thing here, breaking the low of this weekly uptrend, right there. So when this happens, I'm pretty sure that the high right here with this supply zone untouched would give me a nice trade for a sell. And if it was not the case, then it might take the liquidity of this double top, touch the round number right here on the 200 EMA, and then a huge drop from there. So my bias is still to sell here. Two nice stones there. One around the round number and one here. Very close. Remember that you can find my profile, which is my analysis for MT4, for free on my Telegram channel. The link will be below. I use generally IC market, which is the tightest spread I can find. I withdrew from them since three years now and no issue. They are totally secure and regulated in multiple areas. Okay, we are here with uh, GPCAD. So GPCAD, a huge zone of support and resistance here. So with the 800 EMA additional confluence there, which is 200 EMA on the monthly, this is a huge zone to take here for a sell. So I will be waiting that for sure. And on the buy side, since we are in a weekly uptrend, I have this zone right there. Nice zone of support and resistance on the daily more visible. And yeah, that's pretty it. Untouch zone here. And on the supply and demand, it looks pretty, pretty beautiful. This is a nice base and after a huge rise. So this one is cool. GBP CHF. So GBP CHF, there is a lot of uh, bounces right here. So a lot of stop losses below, didn't touch really the zone. I would expect this zone to be touched and eventually arise from there. And if it would break, the second zone would be right here. Let's look at the weekly and see what it says to you, to us. Well, the weekly is pretty nice. It says that the price might move from a downtrend, it was a downtrend here, to an uptrend. Because this high has been taken out. So I would expect a bounce from one of those zones, two zones, very huge. This one is a huge zone in the volume at price. And um, after that, I would expect still the price to continue to make at least up to this high and eventually a new high to this round number and 50 EMA on the weekly. Okay, so GBP yen. So the four hour is quite down pretty much nicely. And uh, from the market maker manipulation, we can see one drop, one range, second drop, second range, and then eventually a third drop to this 200 EMA would make sense. And then eventually a real move higher from there. So it rejected on Friday this huge weekly level of support right there. But it was Friday. So today I would wait eventually a change in trend, but later on during the day. If I have a pattern for a buy there, I will buy. And for a sell, um, there is still the possibility that it continues to fall down. So there is this untouched zone right here. And this could be a good opportunity for a sell as well. GBP New Zealand, uh, a nice four hour trend up with a very strong new high. So I would expect this round number to hold. And if I look at the weekly, so we a little bit, you have a beautiful bullish last week here. And in the middle, there is these spikes right there. So this zone makes sense for a buy for sure. Euro GBP. So this one was a winning trade from this bottom last week. A huge, beautiful trade up, like 15 reward on this trade. And um, it breaks this four hour downswing. So the four hour trend down is broken up. So I would eventually expect the price to continue to go up. If it would go back to this low, then it would be optimum for me. And then I will look for an entry. If it doesn't go there, then I let it go. 
and that's pretty it. After that, I will, yeah, I will search for a cell, but it will be way higher, like this zone or this zone with a huge round number there. New Zealand USD, well, nothing really changed from last week. We are in a weekly, you know, downtrend, breaking this low. So price is like now retracing. I have this nice level of resist resistance here, and I have a second level of resistance right there. And for a buy, I have this beautiful support area right here as well, before the big round number. So this would make sense for a sell just above, especially with this, you know, double top here, a lot of stop losses above that, and then eventually a buy there in this zone as well. New Zealand CAD. So, New Zealand CAD, the overall trend is beautifully up, as you can see there. Uh, now the short-term daily trend is down from this to this low, and I would expect MG to work a little bit more here, and reject a little bit further down, MG to the 50 MA. That's what I would expect. But since we are in an overall strong, beautiful uptrend, it might just go, break this level and go to the next, which will be here. This makes sense because there is spikes, you know, all over the place here. So this zone is, is huge. New Zealand CHF. So the 4-hour trend is pretty nicely impressive going down. That's why I have this level for a sell right there, with the 800 EMA as a confluence on the 4-hour. And on the weekly, uh, it's a beautiful level of support and resistance. Now, last week made like kind of a, two weeks ago, like a railroad track. So I would expect the price to, to, to come up more. And my zone will be the round number right here. So it might take the liquidity that the people who buy during this, you know, because there is like a railroad track. So a lot of people will enter around this bottom. The stop, their stop loss will be below. And what might happen is they might, make people believe that this is a good area for a buy, make a fake eventually, and then once this fake is done, they might go all the way down, take all the stop losses that are here, and then make the real reversal from here all the way up. That's what I would expect there. New Zealand Yen. So it's a clean downtrend on this one. It looks pretty clean going down. So I have a strong big number, big round number with the 200 EMA here because the monthly is up. So eventually a reversal here for a buy and then for a sell I have this level just above. Actually inside this bearish candle there is a nice level right here. From this huge rejection right there. I would just check the volume at price to see if this level has a significance more than one time. And it does, it does, it does look at that you have a huge hill and then a huge valley here. So this level right here is a good level for a sell, for sure. Okay, here we go. Nice opportunity there. So I will fight, fine tune this zone, as you can see, and take into account the four hour candle who made the high, which is right here. So that's from this candle, that's the zone where I'm interested to sell this week on this New Zealand GPY. Using the 15 minute chart, change in trend. USD CAD, so a lot of liquidity here, where well, it took them out, made winning trades, but still come back there. So the real change in trend happened on Friday, right there, and it might just fly from there. But it didn't touch really this zone right there, so... Ah, it did actually. The level was right here. I'm interested in the candle who made the last low, which is this one. And this one... Ah, no, it didn't touch, it didn't touch. The 200 EMA would be there this week. So this week, if the price would come back here, take the liquidity, then I would expect to buy and this might be a huge move up from there because this impulsive was huge as well 
and on the weekly chart the weekly trend looks pretty strong going up right here and then it broke this high last week so a huge move up might be happening soon very soon here we go so that's USD CAD maybe a beautiful trade this week USDCHF so this one is a bit uh, in the size for me it rejected this low with some spikes and then rejected this high so it stayed in the range there is equal amount of strength going down then going up so it's a ranging market I have this untouched zone of supply right there that is that looks nice and it's confirmed with a lot of weekly rejection there and then below that I have this round number with huge rejection right there right there so eventually a fake up and eventually a continuation down there USD yen this one is in this size as well the market is still following the downtrend so the reference of the downtrend will be from this to this and it just rejected just before and then go down so the power seems to be down now there was a nice impulsive move from here going up and that's why I have this zone here, right here. But it's a bit a weaker zone, honestly. So I would still expect the price to continue down at least to this low right there. Here we go. USD MXN. So there was a winning trade last week. Three reward on this one. The daily, <coughs> the weekly is still down. weekly downtrend for sure but those two candles were quite nicely impressive so I would expect the price to retest this round number here and since there is a huge impressive move going up I would expect to buy so there might be a nice opportunity for a buy here and above that there is a big round number here multiple time support resistance support 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 so a huge level there so we might see a price continuing go sorry here retesting it and then going all the way up here before continuing eventually in a downtrend yeah and this level is fine-tuned with a flip zone from supply and demand concept here USD ZAR there was a beautiful winning trade from this spike wow it's a huge one and now I would expect to buy but a bit further than that we are in a weekly uptrend this high has been taken out right there so I would expect to buy around eventually this low or this low right here right here or right here this one is quite a, a good strong probability of success the first one is a bit weaker on your daily level so here it is Bitcoin didn't touch the round number which was uh, 30 and uh, made some reversal pattern it might just be a trap it might go there trigger this round number and then fall from there and the trend is quite nicely up so I would expect to buy around this zone as well nothing here OS 200 in this uh, there is a level for a sell we are in a weekly downtrend clean one and this this level make a lot of sense you know here multiple multiple rejection there so here for a sell uh, for sure it will get my attention replace my alarm properly that's it then UK uh, same pattern US 30 so this one works nicely last week and now it's coming back to the level so we might see a second attempt in this zone and I will look at it for a sell S&P 500 uh, I would be more tempted to go to the next zone of supply which is a little bit above for a sell so weekly was pretty clean going down it rejected nicely the weekly for me is still down because this is the reference point of the downtrend there is only one candle in the middle so this doesn't qualify to make this as a turning point so the real turning point is from this level right here to this low and nothing has been touched down so I would be tempted to say that there is a level here for a sell if price would break up and if not there is still this candlestick as a reference point for a sell opportunity here 
this was a beautiful bearish angle thing so this would make sense for a sell for sure and finally our last in this which is gp225 we are in a ranging market but it spiked this one in high so it might be an uptrend but then it spiked see it spiked this high making us believe it was an uptrend and then it spiked this low making us come back to a range basically so with this range in mind and an impressive move going down on the forward chart pretty clean i have this zone right here for a sell and before this zone i have a double top so a lot of liquidity money is here they might just take this liquidity and then fall from there that's what i would expect Okay, and I hope you enjoy this analysis. So if you want to find me, Telegram, teach me how to trade, and uh, TMHTT, binary option and forex free analysis. So this is how it works. Teach me how to trade free binary forex signal. So you have the signal happening here, and you have also screenshot of the chart telling you when the price is touching a zone so you can be ready to take the trade. So this channel is completely free. You have all my signal with all my trades for free. And last month it was around 78% uh, profit on the whole month. So that's pretty cool. And uh, I hope you enjoy and all the information are on the top. You can also find my group on Facebook, Teach Me How to Trade. And you can contact me on Telegram. I let all the links below this video. I wish you success in your trading for this week. And uh, see you next week. Bye, everyone.